Insecurity in Niger Delta as militants confront criminals face to face. Lately, there have been undercurrent from a number of persons who feel Niger Delta militants have turned empty barrels, issuing threats all the time to blow up oil facilities, while kidnappers, armed robbers, and other criminals run riots in parts of the oil region. Residents resentful of those they call internet militants, laptop and newspaper militants, who they accused of looking for settlement, dared them to confront the criminals terrorizing the people or stop disturbing their peace with endless sound of threats. This is what happened. Not many, however, think the challenge on militants to take on criminals will warrant, though they agree that some agitators have derailed. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. This is this is uh, strange. This is strange. You see, um, my viewers, of a truth, the Niger Delta militants of recent have been issuing lots of threats to the federal government to meet up with their terms and conditions threatening to blow off uh, the oil pipeline and other stuff if their, their demand are not met. But that doesn't mean that those threats of theirs are empty threats. Please, we have to watch our lips. We have to watch our lips and mind the way we talk because this might anger the Niger Daltons and make them to do what they promise to do. You don't know what is stopping them from acting. You don't know. You don't know the forces that is stopping them. You don't know. Is it, is it because that force have not voiced out to say he is the one stopping them? So don't take their threat for granted. Don't underestimate them. Don't look, da look down on them. Because they are still that same Niger Delta that you used to know. They are still that same Niger Delta that you used to know. So don't underestimate them. This is an advice. And it is not just a statement. Do you understand? Because you can imagine... You look at it that you are you, you, you that you people are oil producing country you, you state you, you the oil that enrich and boost the economy of this country is coming from you people state yet the state is still looking so unkept and left to suffer with no single or atom of development seen in that state. If you go to Niger Delta today, you will not believe that this is Niger Delta. You will see and you ask yourself, is, th is it true that this is really, this is really the oil producing state where Nigerians get their oils from? That is what will come to your mind. I'm telling you, you will be surprised. You will never believe. You will never believe what I'm telling you. Yeah. Because it's so crazy. It's so crazy that in spite of all this, in spite of all this, our governments have refused to eat to the core and cry of these people. Is it because they have not striked? They kept quiet because some persons are stopping them they are not the ones stopping themselves so don't say they are their, their, their threats are empty threats 
Don't push them to the wall. What you should do is pray and hasten the 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 the, the federal government to look into their matter and um, and fasting whatever promise that they have made to to the Niger Deltans. You understand? So that is what we're supposed to be looking at and not to be um, putting it up to them and then challenging them and their many and threats. To me, what they have just they, 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 they have been putting up all the all the time is not a threat but a fact, a fact that's supposed to come to play. And if these guys act, they are on their rights. They are on their rights because the federal government have refused to heed to their call, which is very, very, very wrong. I will tell you with every reasonable doubt and fact that our federal government have not been meeting up, have not been doing as expected. Yeah, they have not been doing as expected. Despite all that these people has gone through, despite all the sacrifice that these people have made, yet we still took them as nobody. Look at the educational standard in the Niger Delta, nothing to write home about. Look at the local government schools, look so unkept and, and oh my God. See, my dear, I am saying that the federal government really need to start working things out with immediate effect. Something should be done. Something should be worked out. Something deserves to be done before it's too late. Because when it's too late, I'm afraid we will not like what we're going to get or see in return at the end. Because I'll tell you, <laughs> delay is dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous because you will not believe it you will not believe it all right so um my my list loving listeners and um, friends in different colors i am of the opinion that you two should come in and a one of two facts concerning this matter leave your comments below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates thank you